That's no. good, right? <laughs> yes, we have been nice and quiet. Yesterday, all that sunshine, it was cold, but it was nice and bright. And today, we're going to have a little more cloud cover, but we'll also get a little bit warmer this afternoon as we enjoy another dry day. And hey, we're not going to have to fight that wind today. The breeze is definitely down. Uh, just between 5 and 10 miles per hour is what we're expecting. Uh, we are cold. It's 28, but some clouds around have held temperatures up overnight, so we could be a little bit colder. Uh, but we are going to see temperatures maybe drop another few degrees this morning, but this afternoon we'll climb back into the 30s rather quickly. 33 at noon and then upper 30s between 3 and 5 o'clock with a little more sun late in the day. Dry today. Then we'll just get into some slight chances for showers for the next three days. Uh, no big chance showing up. The biggest chance would be Friday night into Saturday, but the daylight hours through the work week look to be fairly quiet. High pressure is in control today, so that will keep things dry. We have had some snow showers working across the Great Lakes, some of them getting down into northern Ohio, but uh, not impacting us. This area of low pressure back to our southwest will lift northeast, and it'll bring a cold front through tomorrow. So that'll kind of have temperatures a little bit cooler on Thursday behind the front, but again, those chances for precipitation fairly low. It's 28. It feels like 19. We have a breeze from the north, just 9 miles per hour right now. Everybody's in the 20s. It's 25 in Greenville, Minster, also 25 up towards Wapakoneta, 24 in Xenia and Oxford starting the day at 27 degrees. So the temperature trend over the next 10 days, fairly close to normal, if not just above normal, through Friday. Then on Saturday, we're going to take a big drop. A stronger cold front will be coming through, and it's going to bring in a blast of Arctic air that's going to keep things well below normal as we head through the first part of March here. Notice those temperatures Sunday through the end of next week are going to only be in the 20s. So, uh, yeah, we're still going to be feeling quite winter like. Here's a look at future track today, starting us off with a little bit of scattered cloudiness through lunchtime, a little more sunshine for the afternoon hours, and then we'll be partly cloudy and dry overnight. So, tomorrow's commute in the morning. We're looking dry. We'll have a little sun initially. And then with that front moving in, clouds increase. We'll just have the slightest chance of a passing shower. But notice most of us are dry. It looks like it would mainly be an isolated case on Wednesday and warm enough tomorrow for rain. Uh, today, we're up to 38, kind of chilly, not as breezy, though. We'll have clouds mixed with a little sun. Overnight, down to 26, partly cloudy, cold. And tomorrow, 45, so even warmer, will become mostly cloudy and we'll just have about a 20% chance of a spotty shower. That will be the case again on Thursday with highs a little bit colder behind that front near 40. Friday, we warm up again, 47, with a slight chance of a shower, but a better chance arrives at night. And that would be snow showers, which would continue into Saturday with windy conditions, falling temperatures, and then we're getting that push of Arctic air for Sunday and through most of next week.